Hello everyone. Uh, we are doing a very good question from the chapter of surface area and volumes for class 10. Uh, children have a little difficulty in uh, understanding this question, so I've tried to explain it to you. From a cuboidal solid metallic block of dimensions 15 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters, a cylindrical hole of diameter 7 centimeters is drilled out. Find the surface area and the volume of the remaining solid. Now, a uh, quite simple question. I don't know why children have a problem understanding it. Uh, let us see how it is to be done. Uh, if I try to represent the figure diagrammatically, I have a cuboid with the length as L, which is equal to 15 centimeters. The breadth B is equal to 10 centimeters and the height H is equal to 5 centimeters. So I've drawn the same thing. Length is 15, breadth is 10 and the height is 5. Now, from this, I have drilled out a cylindrical hole. Now, this cylindrical hole has been drilled out, which the hole means its top and bottom are open. So, the height of this cylinder will be equal to the height of the cuboid. That means this, this cylindrical hole will also have the height equal to 5 centimeters. Its diameter has been given to me as 7 centimeters. So, if diameter is 7, the radius comes out to be 7 upon 2. And the height is how much it is 5 centimeters. Now, if I want to find out the surface area of the remaining solid, it will be equal to what? It will be equal to the area of the complete cuboid minus the area of the circular top and the circular bottom plus the curved surface area of the uh, cylinder. Now, to make it simpler, I have taken a figure. I took a cuboidal cheese block. I have a cuboid uh, with this. Let's say this is the length. This is the breadth. This is its height. Now, uh, what do I do? I try to make a hole in it. So when I make a hole and I have to find out the total surface area of the remaining solid means I drill a hole inside. And when I'll drill a hole, I'll be drilling it along the height of the cylinder. So what I'll be left with. So I have drilled a hole from this. This was a complete uh, cuboid that was there and the hole has been drilled out. Now, if I want to find out the total surface area of this uh, remaining solid, what will it be? It will be equal to the area of the complete cuboid that was there. That is twice of LB plus BH plus LH minus this circular portion that has been removed from the top. The circle that has been removed from the bottom and this cylindrical portion has been added to it. So I will be getting twice of LB plus BH plus LH minus pi r square of the top and minus pi r square of the bottom. This new surface area has been added to it. You can see this. What is this? This is the curved surface area of the cylinder. That means I have added the curved surface area of the cylinder. That is 2 pi RH has to be added. So the total surface area of the resulting cuboid will be equal to twice of LB plus BH plus LH minus yes. twice of pi R square and plus 2 pi RH. Remember whenever we scoop out something, whenever we remove a certain solid from a given solid, then always the surface area of that remove the curved surface area of that body is added in the total surface area. If I wanted to find out the volume, that is simple. Many of most of the students are able to do uh, find out the volume of the remaining solid. It is the volume of the cuboid minus the volume of the cylinder. That is L into B into H minus pi R square H. The surface area of the remaining solid. So it is equal to total surface area of the cuboid minus the area of the two circles. Uh, the one at the bottom and the one at the top, plus the curved surface area of the cylinder. So the total surface area of the cuboid is how much? Twice of LB plus BH plus LH. Area of the two circle means twice of pi R square. Curved surface of the cylinder is 2 pi RH. So I put that. Then what am I getting? I put the values. L is equal to 15, B is equal to 10, H is equal to 5, R is equal to 7 upon 2, and H for the whole is also equal to 5 centimeters. If I put those values, I get this. Now, let us try to cancel out this 2 and 2 cancels here. Uh, 7 and 7 also cancels here. 22 and 2 cancels by 11. So, I get this all this cancels. I am left with 11 into 7 only. Uh, next, let us see this portion. Again, this 2 and 2 will cancel. 7 and 7 will cancel. I will be left with 22 into 5. That is 110. So, I get twice of 275 minus 77 plus 110, that is 550, minus 77, plus 110, which gives me 583 centimeters square, which is the surface area of the remaining solid. Let us come to the volume of the remaining solid now. The volume of the remaining solid will be equal to the volume of the cuboid minus the volume of the cylinder, 
what is the formula for the volume of the cuboid? The volume of the cuboid is given by L into B into H. The volume of the cylinder is pi R square H. So the formula comes out to be LBH minus pi R square H. Put L is equal to 15, B is equal to 10, H is equal to 5, R is equal to 7 upon 2. And you get the answer as 750 minus 385 upon 2. That is 750 minus 192.5, which comes out to be 557.5 centimeter cube. Thus, I can say that the surface area of the remaining solid is 583 centimeter square, and the volume of the remaining solid is 557.5 centimeter cube. So, I hope you have followed this solution. Thank you so much.